Okay, here we go again. Take number two. Uh, all right, this is Hank and this is Lars. Hank's in Houston. Lars is in Sweden. And uh, we're, uh, we have a few questions and we're just doing a little bit of exploring here. So Lars, if you fall asleep, if the, we get disconnected, um, your higher self, they'll come through and they'll count you out of this real fast and easy. And uh, Okay, so I'd like for you to close your eyes and take a long, slow, deep breath. Inhale deeply. Big, big, big breath and slowly release it. And another long, slow, deep breath. Inhale deeply. And slowly release. And once again, your tailbone has grown into a long silver cord wrapping around that big blue diamond in the center of the earth. And the violet flame has ignited. And with your next long, slow, deep breath, the violet flame comes straight up your tailbone all the way to the top of your head. Yes, there we go. And feel the relaxation moving through your body. You are safe. You are protected. You know it. You feel it. And it is very, very good. I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1. And with each count, you're going to get deeper and deeper, relaxed into a nice trance level. 10, getting nice and comfortable. 9, totally protected and safe. 8, no worries and no fear. 7, becoming more relaxed. Number 6, number 5, halfway there. Number four, number three, almost there. Number two, number one, no worries and no fear. I'm going to count back again from 10 to one. I want you to move back to a previous life that helps you understand your purpose in this life, the origin of any talent you may have or anything that will be significant in your life today on a count of one. Number 10, you are entering into a deep dark tunnel surrounded by trees, grass, and your favorite flowers. It's getting brighter and brighter with each count backwards. Number nine. Number eight, you can make out your arms and legs. You are moving backwards in time. Number seven, allowing information to flow in as the tunnel gets lighter and lighter. Number six, number five, you can perceive a door with a bright white light above it. You are going to open the door and move into that environment of this past life in just a moment. Number four, opening up the door. Number three, number two, number one. The tunnel disappears and you are now in the environment of the previous life. Tell me where you are. Greetings. We are in a nice connect. Greetings. You want to put forward to you in this time that's your previous question about you want to bring forward to us about a previous question that we had? I had a question previously about our connections going on in this media time. Very good. Please speak loud and clear. We want to put forward that we will give you more technology very soon in your linear time. We will proceed.
percentage where it's appropriate to do so. We want you to know that at all times we are connected with you. We and that we want that anything stay in the middle of the transaction. I'm sorry, can you repeat the last sentence, please? We will not let any energy stand in the way of your transcension to a higher frequency. We will be with you all the time. Very good, understood, thank you. I'll leave you with this message that you are going to receive technology soon. Very good. And we appreciate that. We had uh, a few questions from our experience in the past week. And may we inquire, please? You may. Very good. My first question is, whom am I speaking to in terms of energetically? Your part in the ninth collective. The ninth collective. Very good. And we've had this communication uh, in our last session where we connected. Very good. So we understand who you are. Uh, well, Lars and I understand who you are. This is what has happened in the past week. Uh, two days ago, Lars was shopping and he was coming back to his vehicle and there was a female with a cloak over her head and he said, may I help you? And she said, no, I'm here to help you. And uh, could you please, is, is, was she a part of the Ninth Collective or who was she in particular? She is part of Ninth Collective and she is put forward on your planet to reconnect and to make you understand what we are doing. So, did she, so she lowered her vibration to the third dimensional frequency bandwidth to physically manifest because Lars actually had an opportunity to hold her hand. Very good. Now she had two fingers or three fingers or in an opposing thumb. That would, from our perspective, seem as if she was maybe extra dimension, extraterrestrial or how would you explain her form, the form that she took in terms of her appendages? When she imparted that frequency, she had three fingers, because her energy came from the origin, from a planet where the entities does have this embodiment. Understood. Lars had a, had a desire to know why now? Why did she literally connect with him? I mean, in this pa in the past three days, why now? He had some question about his 
his past connections in his mind and was wondering if they were true or not. He did good out this to plus and we answered his question. Oh, very. She had, she had a lot of connection with him in different frequencies, in different places throughout many of his Understood. That was one of his questions. When he's doing these sessions with myself and he's receiving this information, he was uh, questioning the validity of it and also even the, the validity of his dreams and his downloads and thoughts that he's been writing down. So uh, I th thank you and I'm, he thanks you as well. Um, she is helping the entity Hank and Lars to connect and to understand and be at the same frequency at the same time. Yeah. She, she is managing this connection between them and also to other beings and other frequencies. Ah, oh, very good. You called uh, Hank and uh, Lars entities. Yes, you are. Interesting. The very same day or the same within a 24 hour period that Lars had his experience in the parking lot. Uh, I was uh, reading from my book at, at three or four o'clock in the morning and a he, uh, incredible light came straight up and then shot across the uh, on film. And then there was a bunch of small like light entities that came up and then sort of went with it. Uh, could you elaborate on what that was, that experience was that I had? That was a connection energetically between you, us, and him. And also to other entities. It was just the energy showing that you are connected at all times. And and as and just for my, as as Lars asked, why now? Why did it make itself manifest? I mean, he had a physical one-on-one -on -one looking at it. I at mine literally. I I after I was reading the book and I saw it on film. Um, is there a reason why he was able to have his the way he did, and why I was able to receive mine the way I did? receive us in many different ways and the entity hand is also going to have his impact and he does all the time but his mind is not aware of it if he meditates or if he connect to us he can be able to see these things also is this Hank you say Yes, the energy of Hank. Uh, under, uh, so you're saying, just to clarify, if I, Hank, if I meditate more, I would be able to... Perceive more than he does now. Okay. Was them showing themselves on the video did they know when they crossed when they came through on that video that they would be seen by uh, the people who watch these videos that we post that's correct and so it's just a, a another way of uh, validating what we're doing that was to show for the entity realize that he is connected. Oh, very good. Very good. Um, and you say this is the ninth collective. I had, we had, Lars had a question about his mom. She's 90 years old 
and uh, she seemed to be uh, ready to transition. Is it possible for the Ninth Collective to bring forward Lars's uh, mom's higher self to communicate with? Please. When you read it, Ah, very good. This is important for me. Yes. Ah, very good. Is she? Has she? Is she present now? Yes. Ah, very good. Well, Lars, of course, loves you dearly, and he was concerned that you were ready to make a, the transition out of the physical body. Is is are you in the process of transitioning? I am ready to do so. Understood. And. Okay. But I will still be here for some time. Do you still have work to do? I have still to finish some. Very good. This will be really good for Lars to hear. If there's any message that you would give to your son in this moment now, so when he comes back and he listens to this, uh, that would help him. I want him to feel that he is loved and I will always be connected to him. And we will not be in any way separated at any time. Oh, very good. And Lars, can you perceive your mom's higher self, sir? Yes, sir. Very good. Well, if you will, you can go ahead and give her a hug and feel her love and know the conviction of her words and the validity and truth in her words. Thank <laughs> you.